Swan. Ready to saddle up and dive into the Wild West? In Salunary, you'll find yourself battling it out across diverse locations from dusty towns to rowdy saloons as you strive to bring order to a lawless land. With eight main missions and 16 side missions, there's no shortage of gunslinging action and you'll face off against 11 different enemy types that are just begging for a showdown. You can choose from 11 unique weapons, allowing you to rain down justice with a rifle or blast your way through with a shotgun because who doesn't love a good old fashioned shootout? Plus with the bullet time mechanic, you'll feel like the star of your own action movie, dodging bullets and landing those killer shots in style. So gear up and get ready to level up your skills because in Salunary, every duel is a chance to become the ultimate gunslinger. Number two. Pompeii really got a bad deal being next to an active volcano. Almost 2000 years later, you can rewrite history and before the ash a strategy city builder that uses cards and hexagonal tiles. You'll grow your kingdom using cards to place buildings. These buildings generate resources which allow you to create better buildings. And of course, Mount Vesuvius is kind of a problem because it'll erupt and light everything on fire. It'll be up to you to extinguish the flames before they spread. It's a fun little strategy game where you won't get overwhelmed in creating a giant metropolis because it's all going to burn away anyway. Apparently, it was also built in one week for God of Wild Jam 79, which is as impressive as the erupting volcano itself. You can check it out on itch.io. Imagine waking up in the eerie underbelly of a dungeon where the walls seem to whisper your name. Welcome to Hora Palant. As an old knight, you'll dive into chilling incremental gameplay that blends idler puzzle and auto battler mechanics. Each battle against grotesque creatures is a test of your wits and your courage, and solving cryptic puzzles will keep you on your toes. Gathering resources and upgrading your gear is essential, but remember, every boon comes with its price. With bizarre characters and a haunting atmosphere, Horopalant is sure to keep you both intrigued and terrified. Are you ready to face the abyss? Number four. Get ready to dive into the chaos of combo light where roguelike deck building meets auto battler madness. Here, your mission is to unleash the ultimate combo of weapons to hit that rock as hard as possible. Each weapon strikes in one of eight directions, and when you perfectly sequence three of them, you unlock insane damage potential. With the chance to hit a mind-blowing 13 billion damage in a single turn, you'll feel like a rogue god smashing through the competition. But don't get too cocky. The target damage ramps up every round, so stay sharp and exploit those buffs to keep your combo game strong. And before we get to our last spot, congrats to last week's winner, Deep Six. Be sure to vote for your favorite in the comments to have them included in this year's Gato Game Awards. And like last year, just because a game doesn't win its week, it doesn't mean it can't be included in the awards. Number five. It's time to chop, saute, and serve in Hungry Horrors where your culinary skills are the ultimate weapon against some seriously spooky folklore monsters. This roguelite deck building adventure lets you craft delicious dishes from British and Irish cuisine, all while trying to satisfy the picky appetites of creatures like Grindel and Black Annis from British Isle lore. Not only do you need to whip up the right recipes, but you also have to uncover their unique tastes. As you explore stunning environments inspired by the British Isles, You'll collect legendary artifacts and rescue helpful familiars to spice up your journey. Each run allows you to level up your cooking game, making every attempt a fresh opportunity to turn those hungry horrors into satisfied customers. 